I'm Kaylee, and this is my 2024 announcement for 30 books in 30 days in September. I am really excited about 30 books in 30 days this year. I mean, I feel like I need this. I need this so much. I just need to like immerse myself in books. <laughs> I've fallen a teensy bit behind with a few of my reading goals and that's really the goal for me with every September, I start to panic about my yearly reading goals and I just wanna do a huge catch up. Just read, 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 read. So let's dive into the challenges, the rules, and how you can participate in 30 books in 30 days in September. So there are two different ways that you can participate. As always, you could actually read 30 books and that could mean 30 short stories or plays or manga, graphic novels. It could be poetry or a children's picture book. So the word book is fairly loosely defined here. You just have to read 30 something. Or the second way to participate is you can read for 30 minutes every day for 30 days. So a lot of people do that option. It's a little bit easier than trying to read 30 separate books or short stories or whatever. So we try to make it a guideline that each book should be under or maybe near 100 pages. So if it's like 120 pages, that's probably fine. But we're trying to keep it down to really, really short novellas or short stories or something like that that just makes it more manageable to read 30 things in 30 days. You can do longer ones than that, I guess, if you want to, but we try to make the guideline for everything to be just kind of short. <laughs> so some of the challenges are that you can read 10 books from one genre or age group. So like you might read 10 middle grade fantasy or read 10 mystery short stories or read 10 classic poems. Another challenge is you could read 10 books from one author. So you might read 10 Sherlock Holmes short stories or read 10 Shakespearean plays or something. So that one can be fun. Another challenge is to read 10 books from one topic or setting. So you might read 10 books about unicorns or 10 books set in World War I, or 10 books that feature quests, or heists, or 10 books set in India. Another challenge is to read a book written by an author under 30 years old. So a book that was published when they were under 30. This can get really interesting trying to research how old was an author when their book was published. Another challenge is to read a book that was published over 30 years ago. So you get some more classic or modern classic books. And the last challenge is to read a story that's between 30 and 39 pages. So a lot of these are, you know, with the theme of 30s. I know that a lot of people probably feel like, whoa, that readathon is just way too intimidating. That just seems like a lot. I don't know if I wanna do that all month long in September. However, it actually ends up being really fun and kind of, kind of liberating to just be able to focus so much on your reading. And I've actually done a video all about 14 tips to succeed in this readathon. So I will make sure to link that and the whole 30 books in 30 days playlist in the description. So if you're feeling kind of intimidated, go over and watch that video to kind of figure out like, is this really doable? I also have a lot of recommendation videos for short stories and novellas, for graphic novels and manga, for plays. So you can go over and watch the different recommendation videos to get some ideas of some very short books that would be easy to read for this readathon. In the next few weeks, I'm gonna be doing some more recommendation videos and of course, I'll be telling you all about my TBR that I think I've got set up for 30 books in 30 days. I've kind of gone back and forth with different books for the TBR, and I think I may have bitten off more than I can chew. I'm still kind of trying to decide, like, is this really, is this really the TBR that we're going with? 
because <laughs> I got a little insane with it this year. Please leave me a comment and let me know if you are planning to participate in the 30 Books in 30 Days Readathon and let me know which version do you intend to do. Are you going to read for 30 minutes every day or are you going to try to read 30 books? And of course, if you post anything, your TBR or updates or anything as you're participating in the readathon, be sure to use the hashtag 30 books in 30 days. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.